Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about complete hydatidiform mole on ultrasound. A complete hydatidiform mole or a complete molar pregnancy is the most common type of gestational trophoblastic disease. In this condition, no embryo is formed and no fetal parts are seen. Instead, the uterus is filled with an abnormal benign mass. Ultrasound findings are often supported by extremely high levels of beta HCG and clinical features include vaginal bleeding, hyperemesis gravidarum, which is extreme morning sickness, or symptoms of hyperthyroidism. We will compare the appearance of a normal pregnancy with complete molar pregnancy. These are transvaginal images in longitudinal plane. In the image on the left, we have a normal gestational sac with a normal embryo. The uterus is also normal. In this image, we have a complete hydatidiform mole a complete molar pregnancy. No embryo or fetal parts are visible. Instead, we see an echogenic mass in the uterine cavity with multiple cysts. This type of appearance is termed a snowstorm appearance. The echogenic mass is filled with cystic spaces. This is the snowstorm appearance. Here is another image showing a complete hydatidiform mole. We see a large mass filled with multiple cystic spaces and no fetal parts or embryonic parts are seen. This is a transabdominal image in longitudinal plane showing the normal uterus with a normal gestational sac. The uterus is normal in size. Whereas in this image, the uterus is enlarged. In gestational trophoplastic disease, the uterus is enlarged and there is no normal gestational sac or embryo. Instead, there is an echogenic mass with multiple cystic spaces in the uterine cavity. This is an image of a complete molar pregnancy at 14 weeks. No fetal parts were seen. Instead, there was an echogenic mass with multicystic spaces. The image on the left is of a normal 14 weeks pregnancy. This is another image of a complete molar pregnancy seen in the second trimester. The uterine cavity is filled with a large echogenic mass with multiple cystic spaces. Doppler features of a molar pregnancy are variable, but in usual cases, areas of increased vascularity are seen. In this image, power Doppler is applied. You can see Doppler signals within the echogenic mass. These suggest areas of increased vascularity. In this image, color Doppler is applied. You can see areas of increased vascularity within the echogenic mass. The ovaries can also be affected in a molar pregnancy. Theca lutein cysts are seen. It usually presents with bilateral theca lutein cysts. The image on the left is of a normal ovary in a transabdominal image. In the image on the right, you see an enlarged ovary which is filled with multiple anechoic cysts. This echogenic area is ovarian stroma. Both the right and left ovaries will be enlarged and will have this type of appearance. 
This is another image showing theca lutein cysts. The ovary is enlarged and has multiple anechoic cysts. And this area is the ovarian stroma. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.